Congratulations on your purchase of the Statum G4. The Statum G4 is an innovative tabletop cassette autoclave that uses dynamic air removal technology, also known as steam flush pressure pulse technology, to remove air and effectively sterilize instruments. Not only does the Statum G4 unit have rapid sterilization, but with the DryTech convection and radiant heat drying technology, it also enables rapid drying. The Statum G4 offers a number of innovative features. The fresh water feature is gentle on both solid and hollow instruments. The innovative design of Statum's removable cassette allows for quick heating and cooling. DryTech technology ensures your instruments come out dry with every cycle. Wi-Fi enabled G4 technology can connect and send cycle data to your smart devices or computer. Provide maintenance reminders, allow for automatic user interface software updates, and connect your Statum to specialized technicians for remote support. This video will explain the details of installing, operating, and maintaining your Statum G4 units. For additional information, please consult your operator's manual. Your Statum G4 unit comes with the following items. A complete Statum cassette with a mesh flat rack. Waste bottle with lid fitting. Exhaust tube. Tube mounting hardware. USB memory stick. Power cord. Stat mat. In addition, the Statum 5000 G4 unit includes a wire pouch rack. When installing your Statum unit, Ensure the vents and openings on the statum remain uncovered and unobstructed. The waste bottle is used to collect wastewater after it has been converted to steam and drained from the cassette. To connect the waste bottle, insert the exhaust tube into the fitting on the back of the unit and pull gently to confirm a tight fit. Cut the tube to length and slide the waste bottle fitting into place. Place the free end of the tube into the hole in the lid of the waste bottle and hand tighten the fitting. Do not coil or kink the exhaust tube. Fill the waste bottle with water to the minimum level and place it near the unit, ensuring the bottle is stored below the unit. If manually filling the statum, we recommend emptying the waste bottle every time the reservoir is refilled. A Vista Cool system can also be installed, which drains exhaust water safely and automatically into your drain. To fill your reservoir, ensure you use only steam distilled water or water from the SICAN approved Vista Pure system containing less than 5 parts per million total dissolved solids or having a conductivity of less than 10 microsiemens. Using other water sources that have impurities and other additives will cause an error reading on the LCD and can cause damage to your unit. The reservoir can be filled manually by removing the reservoir cap and adding steam distilled or Vista Pure water, making certain not to fill past the bottom of the white basket filter. Alternatively, you can connect the Vista Pure autofill system to automatically replenish the reservoir water. When placing your unit on a countertop, ensure it is stable and that all four feet are securely in contact with the counter surface. This will prevent the unit from moving freely. Power on the unit using the switch found at the back left of the unit. After powering on your unit, the Statum digital bubble level will appear. Please adjust the leveling leg so that the bubble level is in the four o'clock quadrant. The diagram will turn from red to green to confirm that the statum is properly leveled. The statum must be in this leveling position to drain properly and enhance the drying efficacy of your statum. If your statum has not been connected to the G4 network, please follow the steps in the power-up wizard to connect your machine and complete the online registration. The statum offers three cycles, unwrapped, wrapped and rubber and plastics unwrapped cycles, which are found on the top row of the LCD screen. On your Statum 2000 unit, the fourth icon is the air dry icon, 
which may be used to promote further drawing. This icon on the STATUM 5000 unit is the heavy-duty unwrapped cycle, which can be used to sterilize larger loads of unwrapped loads of metal instruments for immediate use. Once the cycle is selected, the Start button shown in the middle of the screen is pressed to begin the cycle. Below the Start button are status icons for network connectivity, USB storage device, water level and quality, and cassette insertion. The globe icon shows the status of the network connectivity, is used when connecting to the internet. A red X indicates that no internet connection. A yellow check mark indicates the unit is connected to the office server but not to the internet. A green check mark indicates the unit is connected to the internet. If the unit was not connected to the internet during setup, Press this icon to connect your unit via an Ethernet cable or Wi-Fi. Next, we have the USB status icon. A red X indicates there is no USB connected, while it will turn green when active. When the USB icon is pressed, the display will show the last five completed cycles along with the last five incomplete cycles. To view the parameters for any of these cycles, Simply press the cycle line you wish to view and use the arrows on the right to scroll up or down. When your unit is connected to the G4 network, all cycle data will be stored to the cloud. However, we recommend keeping a USB key installed as a backup. The H2O icon is the water level and quality status icon. This icon will show a red X if there is not enough water in the reservoir or the water quality is not adequate. The cassette icon shows you if the cassette is properly engaged. The final icon is the eye icon, which leads you to the settings and unit information page. From this page, you can access the user and technician menus. Instruments must be cleaned, rinsed, dried, and pouched before being placed in the STATUM. To place instruments in the STATUM 2000 cassettes, hold the cassette handle and push downward on the cassette latch with your thumbs. Raise the cassette lid up and disengage the hinge and rest the lid on its outer surface. When placing pouched instruments into the cassette, ensure they are placed plastic side up in a single layer with no overlap. To close the cassette, align the hinge tab on the cassette lid and hinge slot on the bottom tray, so the hinge tab and slot engage when closed. Insert the cassette into the STATUM 2000 unit by placing the end of the cassette into the unit and gently pushing inward until you hear a click sound and the cassette cannot be pushed any further. The cassette icon will no longer show a red X when the cassette is properly engaged. The STATUM 5000 cassette is similar, but has a handle that assists with the removal and insertion of the cassette. In addition, your STATUM 5000 unit comes with a wire pouch rack to help pouched instruments drying more efficiently. To operate each cycle, follow these steps. Turn the power switch at the back to ON. Press the appropriate cycle on the touchscreen. Press the start icon. Once the sterilization cycle is complete, a reminder tone will sound as the cycle moves into the air drying phase. When the cycle, air drying included, is complete, be aware that the instruments may be quite hot, so take care when removing instruments and be certain to place the cassette down on a surface that can be exposed to heat, like the silicone stat mat. Once a week, it is important to clean the inside of the STATUM cassette with a stainless steel cleaner. These powders, along with a non-scratch scrubbing pad and water, do a great job of shining up the inside of the cassette. Be certain to rinse out the cassette well and let it dry. To ensure optimum performance of your STATUM, change the cassette seal every 500 cycles or six months, whichever comes first. A tutorial for changing the seal can be found on the User Settings menu under Instructions. When changing the seal, always replace the filters found at the back of the unit at the same time. 
Additional details of installing, operating, and maintaining your Statum are all contained within the Operator's Manual. Please read these instructions before operating this unit and keep them for future reference. Thank you again for making SciCan your choice.